Thursby. If you need scrap and a snap, just talk to your junkyard diplomat. Mm -hmm. Me, Thursby, Thunderstruck, Sean and Pluck, down in his luck. Nah, whatever. Tell me you want to buy something. Please. I want your apron. I like it. We could just give him a bunch of credits, but I guess we're not gonna. I, I, I don't have a whole lot of them. Like, if you this... You have 200,000 Yeah, but if this was enough, then I think everyone should just have all of their parts back. Because I assume all of this is, like, really expensive. Because, like, I mean, it it didn't take that much effort to get it. Well, for you. Unico sent you a tenno to help meet me, Quota. I guess. Well, B. You know, you could buy some scrap, but if you really wanted to help... You could source me some supplies. Something I can sell. Not this garbage. I know where the tax man keeps the good stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're up for that sort of thing, boss, head top aside. Yeah. So uh, the tax... The tax men are the corpus? Well, it's it's just some specific squad of corpus working for Nef Anyo. The ones he sends in to, to collect the debts. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about Utico. Yeah. She means well. Don't want to see nothing bad happen to us workers. But there was a time she had another name. Fox Solaris. The voice of the resistance. The voice of Solaris United. She stood up for us. The said voice how of the sun. Is. She always said Solaris United was all of us. But it weren't nothing without her. When the trouble happened... Neff did try to identify her. What he did to the others. What happened on deck 12. <clears throat> She's always been kind to me. What happened to them was never her fault. Yeah, so, so Loris United used to be a resistance movement against Neff Anyo and their, their, their corpus overlords. And they got stomped to the fucking ground. <laughs> So now they are good little workers. Okay. When my parents passed, I inherited their debt. And boy, were they owing deep. Can't work to pay it off, because I ain't got no augmentations. And I can't buy augmentations on account of all my debt. Welcome to capitalism. Cycle, right? So, here I am. Selling useless scrap at the edge of a coolant canal. All right. Yeah. So wait, what's the quest now? I go topside, fight the taxman. Yeah. This place, Fortuna, it uh -huh. is deep underground. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Fortuna is is not a very good name for. No, this is basically a prison camp. This is slave labor, <laughs> and it's deep underground. So you have to go topside, up to. You ever been out on the Valis, boss? Up no? to the Orb Valis. She is. A blizzard in a firestorm. A blizzard? All thanks to the magic of rebooted Oricon tech. And the blood and the sweat of so many Yeah, because Venus is very close to the sun. But, you know what Yudiko always says. What, what does she always say? So. I do not wa know behold, what she says. Behold, Venus. She says, <laughs> I need something I can sell, you know? Spare parts. Quality this merchandise, see? I know where the corpus drops supplies. You can get in and out before anyone catches wind of what we're up to. This is Orokin terraforming technology. Thursby, what's going on? You keeping your nose clean? No. Wait, no, no. Uh, just wait. Sure I am. Just giving a, a tour to my shiny boss here. You know, earning a wage any way I can. All right then, Thursby. Just don't let this outworlder get you into trouble. Okay, what did you say earlier? I was not listening to it. I was trying to follow ah, the story. Gotcha, Sorry. Gotcha. So, Venus is very close to the sun. Mm -hmm. Venus is a very warm planet. <laughs> so this is Orokin terraforming technology. Uh-huh. Uh, you can see, like, on the edges of this map, oh. there are, like, these, these coolant towers and whatever. Oh, so, that's, that's Telvani Towers. So Look, it's the this, mushrooms. Yeah, so this area is a winter wonderland. M um, most of Venus is not. If you, <coughs> if you hold M to get up, pull up the map, you'll see that this place is actually quite a lot bigger than the uh, Earth open world. 
Yeah, which means I really need to get the thing that lets me use my arc wing on here, don't I? Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. We just need to farm a bunch of erudite. Uh, so you have to do... Uh, um, All right. You have to, like, just smash some resource containers. Well, for Earth. now, I'm going to there. That is correct. Uh, you are up top side now, in the Orb Valley, so you can see, uh, like, that tower in front of you. Yeah. That's an old Orokin tower. Mm hmm It's in ruins, but you'll also be able to see in er other areas of the Orb Valley, just, uh, Corpus settlements, like to the left here. Peak, boss. Crates full of the good stuff should be nearby. Not sure you can... Well, maybe. Whee! Yeah. Not sure I can Aha. what? Well, that's one of the... No. Oh, I have to exit. Yeah, that's not a smashy. That's an opening. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Nice, an Ithan star. Loosen up. we be taxing taxmen on the regular. Is this on a time what limit? Yes. Ah. Uh, so the nice thing about finding resource caches, if you look at it behind you, uh, the nice thing about resource caches here in Fortuna is that they're smoking. Yeah. Which means they're quite easy to see from far away. Oh, so it doesn't have like... Because I'm like, what do I do na now? You have to find more of them. And if you look at the top left in your minimap, you can see the area you're supposed to oh, be looking Oh, it's an in. area thing. Okay, because I was like, I'm not getting any more. No, there's an area. And now I just have to find like smoke or what? Kinda. Ah. Do you see anything? Well, check. No, but you're 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 uh, moving the camera around a bit too fast for me to be able to see. Uh, no, no, I don't see. Anything. How many are you supposed to find? Three, and Three. I found one. Okay, I'll just keep looking. We'll find them. Don't you worry about it. As long as we stay. Ah. There's something that smoked. There you there. go. Amazing! With this haul, won't be just my debts getting paid off. You're gonna make more than one Solaris happy today, boss. Okay, that's good. Now, obviously, stealing from Nef Nefanyo is a bit risky. Is it? Well, what if he finds out that you've been stealing from him? Then I'm gonna fight him. Okay, that's nice. Ah, it actually just gave you a map marker for the last one. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just have to walk around the other side. I guess the answer is not, so I fight him. Well, that's good for you, but what happens when you leave? Ah, they, they are fucked. You, yeah. mean, you mean it's risky? You're not fucked. You're an immortal Tenno. Where did my... I thought my map marker went yeah, there. Yeah, it disappeared, but, you, but it was somewhere to the right, I think. Well, the funny thing is now my map says there it does ah there yeah. it is well how nice yeah since i'm doing this you know out of the kindness of my heart and aren't you getting a bit overboard with this Unsecured channel. You want a corpus spy drone here in what you're up to? Ah, mucky. Too late. <sighs> got no choice. Tenno, you got Thursby into this mess, so you can damn well help him out of it. I mean, we were only trying Wait. to be nice. I was. T I. Tenno, you're looking for the corpus spy drone that overheard Thursby's little guided tour. Find the drone before it reports back to Central Command. Yeah, I mean, good thing the Corpus don't seem to have, like, cloud. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, Yudiko, I know you mean well, but Thursby's probably already pretty fucked. Right. Because he's an idiot. And because he immediately started talking publicly about what he was doing. Yeah, that's not very smart. That's not very smart. That's like, that's like the kind of thing that led to so many people being arrested in the whole storm the capital thing. <laughs> yeah, it's got some, some serious January 6th energy here. The drone here. is nearby. Ground it. And 
I'll see if I can still hack one of these things. Yeah. So the problem is with the hind that you're using, it's got pretty slow projectiles. Where do you go? Speed. Where do you go? I don't know. Check the minimap and you'll see it. If it's there, it's just if I'm too close to it, it goes away, so... Annoying. You should probably click number two and activate your damage reduction. I guess, yeah. Because these guys are killing you. Oh, yeah, they Yeah, are. you're not paying attention. Yeah, I was not. I recommend paying attention. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, these quests are actually, like, well, not... You cannot do these in your sleep. You, you forget that, for the most part, I was playing, like, Rhino. <laughs> I'm and actually... I'm actually might even recommend that once you're done with this mission, you switch to the heck. Uh, okay, so shoot that thing down. Get closer to it. Yeah. There we are. Okay, and now hack it. Oh no, she's hacking it. You just you don't have to do anything. Okay, now you have to protect it. I have to protect. You have to protect it. So we are doing electricity damage with your gun, which is good, mm -hmm. but you are gonna have to be uh, pretty effective here at at taking out enemies. So. Now your cooldown uh, exp well, the duration expired on your number two. You heard, so I have to cast it again. No, I just cast it oh, again. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. And when you have this um, cloud of glass around you, you actually hurt enemies by standing close to them, which is also good to know. It doesn't last very long, man. No, two. but that's because your gear is very low level, so it's like level one. Um, you ha when you level up to rank 30 it's gonna last longer and when you you can use moss mods to increase the duration of your ability and now i don't have energy to cast it again well then i recommend uh picking up the energy over there yeah uh, oh my god, they killed yeah, me. Revive. So you really need to activate this immediately when yeah, you Yeah, I energy. tried. I tried, okay. Where is okay. my drone? Where did it go? Why is it just going in a circle? It's going in a circle. Uh, but activate your uh, number two and don't aim at an enemy while you're doing it because that's going to give it a different effect. You have to just aim at the ground or something when you activate your number two. Because otherwise you'll actually cast it on an enemy. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. So it's only like 12 seconds right now um, while you're leveling up and stuff. Where but, are you? <laughs> but you are going to need to use this to stay alive. So for this is actually going to be a bit tough, these later missions. So I'm probably going to tell you to switch to Rhino. Yeah. It's probably going to be Rhino and Heck while we do this quest. See, now you didn't actually cast that yourself. You cast an enemy because you aimed oh at the enemy God. while you were okay. casting it. Well... You can cast it again. Mm. Just gotta aim at the ground while you do. Yeah, like that. How much longer? It says reinforcements defeated 18 out of 30. Oh, so you just have 30. to kill a certain amount of enemies. Yeah, I do. Okay. That's fine. How many are we up to? I am at 20 out of 30. Okay. It's fine. I'm not currently seeing anyone, so... Where are they? Yeah, yeah, I'm not having the best of time with Gera as far as survivability and no. things are going. But Gera is special. Hey, this is actually an NPC you can lock in place with, uh, with your glass wall. So if you don't want this thing to move around, you can actually glass wall it. I uh, don't have the um, energy for a glass wall. How sad. Oh well. No, but Gara is special because, like, Gara is really strong for endgame players who have, like, endgame mods and stuff. Um, if you don't have that, then. And you're just a new player with, with beginner gear and whatnot, then she excels in defense missions, but not in all missions. There are mission types where she struggles. Hmm. So uh, we can we can we can we can. We can the there we go. As as we can do this on easy mode instead. 
Yeah. Which is Rhino with a hack. Which is Rhino with a hack. That sounds like a good idea. Well, yeah. That is easy mode. No mistake. Could have used you back. <laughs> Don't let me catch you running more missions for Thursby, understood? You should probably not stay here because this place is not safe. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So now it's just return to Fortuna return and that Fortuna. means I can switch to Rhino with the heck. Yes, you can't do it from here, but you can do it while you're in Fortuna. Oops. Just like in Cetus. What's nice about Fortuna is you see that plume of black smoke in the horizon? Yeah. That's Fortuna, and that's so noticeable, like, no matter where you are on this open world map, you can pretty much always see that black smoke stack. So it's always easy to find your way back to Fortuna. Okay. Oops. What's this? That's a resource. Mitocardia. Uh-huh. And these assholes. They work for Nathaniel, so they gotta go. And another reason why we're doing this right now is because Anna is really bothered by the fact that she does not have vacuum on her space dog. I do not have vacuum on my space dog. It's so annoying. Don't, uh, don't even try it. I guess I shouldn't have tried it. Wait. <sighs> go around. Okay. No, to the left. Where? Up here. If you're gonna go around the lake, then, you know, you gotta go around the lake. Okay. Um, so she was like, how can I get vacuum on my space dog? And I'm like, that's actually something that was added to the game maybe two years ago or so. Uh, so and it's mostly farmed from here in Fortuna. Mm -hmm. From like Lynx enemies. So that's like robot dogs. You can kill certain robot dogs here in the open world in Fortuna and they have like a 3% chance to drop the mod that gives you vacuum for your dog. That's good. I want that. Well, it took me quite some time to farm that. So you're saying I'm gonna replace the dog before I get the dog vacuum? Most likely. We're gonna farm that together. I'll help you farm for, for the fetch mod. All right. Now, we should Rhino. probably switch Warframes. Leave. No, 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 you don't have to leave. I don't? No, equipment. Oh, I can just do that here? Yeah, you can do it here. Arsenal. Oh, okay. Cool. Rhino. With the heck. There we go. Parents Easy peasy. Match Warframe colors. Very important. Yes. Gotta go pink. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Then now I talk to... Thursby. To my man over there. Your boy. My my Young pile adult. of metal. Hi boss. You go says that if I try anything like that again, she'll rip me arms off herself. But look at this. Yesterday didn't have enough Luca to stay out of repo. Now I got what I need to open the old shop. Get me head out of the red. All I need is a ripe hook. Something to set old Thursby apart. Something memorable. I almost forgot. Biz heard of what you did. Said he wanted to speak with you. Ah, now we can talk to the business. The business. The business. I like him. Okay, the business. The business is the one who's in charge of animal conservation. Animal ah, conservation? Good to know you to co mention. How do you do, Outwell? My mission is to conserve this region's unique species. You know, before the corpus drive them to extinction. Mm. I'm known as the business. Utico calls me Biz. <laughs> I wasn't always about the preservation of life, more the strategic deletion of it. <laughs> Conservation may be my calling now. The scales still require an occasional adjustment. Head to the Vallis if you're looking for some work. So okay. the business used to be Utico's kind of second in command in the Solaris United. But the fighting days are over for old old Solaris U. First to get in your hands, Dirty. Send a message. I've learned that the head of the Corpus Repo Squad has made a hit list of indebted Solaris. Before his goons can do their thing. I've got a K-bomb with his name on it. <laughs> What's a K-bomb? That 
that's not what we discussed. Wait, there's a repo list? Who's on it? Ah, <sighs> crap. Okay, fine. But we do this my way. No K-bombs. Had about enough mess for one day.